What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video and today. It is time that we discuss the 2024 presidential election and answer the question, will Biden's quote-unquote competence hurt him in the 2024 presidential election? Because let's be real with ourselves, there's something up with this guy. I mean, he's always had a problem with gas and all that stuff, but he's gotten older. And it brings up a serious question about, can he really serve another term? And it seems like the vast majority of Americans are asking the same question. Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe. Share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the Twitter accounts in the description down below. Guys, go follow Real American Politics on Twitter. It is a great Twitter account everyone should follow. Of course, follow the Rumble page down below for exclusive content. And of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for $3 a month, you can join Real American, which is a phenomenal deal. as helps support the daily content we all know and love. You love the daily content? Well, this is the best way to support it. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. All right, everybody. So the 2024 presidential election is starting to heat up a little bit. We're in the middle of 2023. More candidates are entering and we're about to get to the stage of debates and all that stuff. Well, there's been a serious question surrounding President Biden. And... Let's be real with ourselves. There is something wrong with this dude. Now, before we get into what's up with him, we got to show the electoral question about this guy. Because people hate Trump. But even they, uh, there's a lot of people that hate Trump. But even then, way more people are questioning Biden's competency than Trump's. Because yeah, Trump's gotten older and he may not be as energetic as before. But he's not slurring his words and all that stuff. And he's not, you know, saying what Biden, God knows what he's saying each week. I mean, yeah, Trump isn't as energetic, but it's like, okay, he's 77. Biden's only a couple years older. And not only does he have, I think, negative energy, he's also, quite frankly, there's something wrong with this guy. Like, you scroll down here. 62% of Americans say that the question of his mental fit, mental fitness, excuse me, is a real concern about his ability to be president. That's 11 points higher than for the leading Republican candidate, former President Trump, whose mental fitness is at a concern for is a concern for 51%. And again, this was by Marist poll which has always vastly understated Trump's support and all that. But we'll get to that. Look at this. 36% of Democrats say there's a serious problem with Biden. 84% of Republicans, of course, and 69, nice, percent of independents. 69% of independents are saying there's something wrong with this dude. And you go further, and with the Trump stuff, it's only 78% of Democrats. Not even the majority of independents are saying that there's something wrong with this mental fitness and only 20% of Republicans or 21% are saying there's something wrong with Trump. And you notice that they oversampled Democrats a little bit. Either way, it doesn't matter. All right. Point is way more people are saying there's something wrong with Biden than they are saying about Trump mentally. Now, again, Trump doesn't have the same energy as he did back in 2016, but that's one thing, all right? When you get older, you don't get as energetic as you used to, usually. But there's also one problem. When you get older, there's usually problems with stuff like dementia. Well, can we just stop pretending that it doesn't happen? It does. Screws you with your memory and makes you not act the same. Now, Biden, he's always been a gaffe machine. Always. Even before, you know, 2021. Because in my opinion... Even in 2020, for a lesser extent, you can understand what, you know, you could say that, yeah, it's just Biden being Biden. 
But it wasn't him going completely senile or whatever. Which, again, I'm not saying he does right now. I'm just saying that when you get older, your memory screws up and there are signs of dementia and stuff. I'm not saying he has it. I'm just saying that even in 2020, you could say, yeah, he's still Biden, but he's not going completely insane yet. Well, ever since he's become president, the stuff just gets stranger and stranger. President Biden often uses old-timey expressions that confound even his own staff. That happened again Friday when he ended a speech on gun violence with God save the queen, man. Bro. It's like, okay, first of all, you are in Connecticut. All right, you are in Connecticut. Second of all, the queen's been dead for a while. If you would say God save the king, that's one thing. Even then, it's, you're in Connecticut, dude. Why are you saying God save, uh, God save the queen? It just, that's bizarre. But it's like, you're saying God save the queen when she's dead? I mean, something's not up. And even one of the White House's principal deputy, uh, press secretaries, the principal deputy press secretary did he even know what her boss meant when journalists asked she replied only that he was commenting to someone in the crowd how do you say god save the queen to somebody when you're in connecticut and you're talking about guns um is the theory that the united kingdom's secretly in charge is that real but i know it's not real it's a joke but understand this this isn't good. That they don't even know what he meant. Because at least with Biden in the past, you can make the argument, oh, that's just a gaffe. He's always had gaffes. But now he's saying random stuff in crowds like this? Later, the White House didn't respond when Axios asked what Biden had meant. Biden's quirky um, statements are sometimes weaponized by Republicans to insinuate the 80-year-old president is a mental decline. He is. This is if this was a one-off thing, fine. All right. It was everybody has that moment. But Biden has been using unique phrases for years. But even some of his aides aren't exactly sure what he means by them. Which again, what I'm saying is, yeah, he's always had some weird stuff, but in recent years, in particular since he become president, it's just been getting just kind of outright sad, some of the stuff he's saying. Biden also said God save the queen when he was vice president in January 2017, after he certified Trump's 2016 election victory, which, again, that's one thing because the queen was alive and, you know, I, I think he was mocking Trump. I don't freaking know. But now it's like God save the queen to a dude in Connecticut. That's supposedly the story when she's dead. What? Biden has an arsenal of wacky phrases he deploys. During this year's State of the Union, he told Republican lawmakers, lots of luck in your senior year. Some Biden allies believe that's his way of saying, good luck with that. The fact that we need like a Biden dictionary to figure out what this guy is saying. I mean, again, this isn't like Biden in the past where he said some, yeah, he said some weird stuff, but you meant what he was trying to say. This is like, huh? What? But it keeps going on and on and on. You can visibly tell this guy can't, he doesn't know where he is. You notice every time he does a rally, he needs to be told exactly where to go. Again, I'm not saying that he's going senile or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. My point is there are serious questions, however. What is going on with this guy? Because the worst part is, we have nuclear weapons that the president with a click of a button can use. And this is what I'm worried about. It's not because, oh, he's a Democrat. Sure, that's, I have my opinions, but it's like, that's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about this guy going completely senile with the nuclear war uh, weapons, with nuclear weapons at his disposal. He could just, with a click of a button, use. Do you want somebody like that as president? 
And the vast majority of Americans say there's something wrong with this dude. Even more than Trump. So can we stop pretending that there's something not wrong with Biden? I'm not even saying he's going senile. I'm just saying the fact of old age that this dude's acting just bizarre. And I'm hoping it's not because nobody should go through it. But it's just not looking good for Biden. Mentally, there's some serious questions about him. And I hope it isn't going senile because you're dealing with, we're in the cusp of World War III with the Ukraine stuff. China's probably going to invade Taiwan if we're in worst case scenario. And knowing us, we're probably going to use nuclear weapons as a first response. I mean, that's more absolutely worst case scenario, but it's like, still, do you really want somebody that could potentially do that because he's kind of losing it? It seems like at least. Again, I'm not saying, and I'm not hoping he's going senile or anything like that. I'm just saying there's something up. What's going on here? Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below. Subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the Twitter accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much. Godspeed to all of you.